that was Chris Tomlin with Our God. Here on your radio station, AM 930, The Light, Edmonton's Positive Talk. Well, we've been talking about Joshua, the guy who went in and took the land. Now, one of the things that the Lord said to Joshua in Joshua chapter 1, he says, be strong and courageous. Isn't that wonderful that God can impart to us this incredible uh, qualities. He says, listen, you can be strong and you can be courageous. You can actually do more than you could ever dream possible. You know, Paul reminds us about that very thought when he said this, that God can do exceedingly, abundantly beyond what we're able to ask or even imagine. But what we need to do is recognize that God sees us not as we currently are right now, but as we're going to become. It was the same thing that he said to Gideon when he said, Gideon, you are a mighty man of valor. And Gideon hadn't done a valiant thing yet because God sees our future and he sees what we can become. So when God tells us about something, we should just embrace and say, yeah, God, I see myself that way. I may not be there yet, but it's a progression. And I'm walking by faith and not by sight. I'm calling those things which are not as if they are. That was a quality that Joshua would exhibit through his entire campaign. He was strong and he was courageous in the Lord. He lived up to God's expectation because he heard a word from the Lord and you can hear a word from the Lord today. Think about, for example, what Peter says. He says that we are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a unique called out individual. That's who you are in the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus purchased all of those wonderful promises and attributes through his death, his burial, his resurrection, his broken body and shed blood. God looks at us right now, not as we are, but what we can become. So Lord, today, Lord, I pray that each one of us would take this thought and we're going to say, you know what, Lord, I'm going to be strong and I'm going to be courageous and I'm going to go into my world because I've got a mandate, a mandate from heaven to tell people about you and to love them and exhibit that wonderful agape love. And I'm going to believe that today for myself and for those around me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Dr. Charles.